Here we are at Racing Ram for the top-up show. Paul Daly's found the hooker position and the two skinniest props that ever fucking lived, <laughs> me and Lamborn, are next to him. But okay. apparently people out there wanted to listen more to Paul than me and Mark, which is fair enough. Well, G'day, that's right. We've had, we've had our Friday gig and uh, Paul gets to share his uh, last-minute Saturday thoughts. Uh, wind quite gentle at the moment. Um, the blue and white flags are out, Mark, everywhere you look. Is it Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs Day or is it something Wings else? Day. Oh, it's Wings Day, isn't it? 19 mil on the track. 19 mil. Yeah. Winter. Are we going to have a couple of barriers next to her empty? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, we well, can. she's a big man now. Huey, yeah, first big. five races, just he'll check the track out legally while he's yeah. riding other horses yep. that have been gambled on. That's yep. just Wings Day. That's right. Wallace says I'm not racing unless they put 19 wheels on. Yeah. What a great game it is. Hashtag the great, great horses. horses. What, uh, what are you looking for in the track, Paul? Um, well, the last two meetings, which were some time ago, uh, April and June last year, on the seven metre rail, uh, it played they were heavy tracks too yeah, so it, yeah and it played really on pace and on the inside so i'm a bit oh. i'm a bit um well bit the wind should sure. help the inside maybe not the lead yeah that's right i mean if, if the wind blows up then it's it's going to affect leaders a bit um look right at, into at their the faces moment, down the side yeah it's, down the it's, side we'll from the flag up there. It's, it, it's a bit it's a fairly up. brisk up there but i mean it depends what it picks up to i think you've just got to be nimble and flexible and be prepared to change your assessments well so, what can also happen is that if, if the mindset is that the wind is affecting leaders then leaders will suddenly get some sort of picnic yeah well, that's we right everyone we will saw slow Zonk get the get get the slowest slowest sectional into the into the headwind there on um, on wednesday you've ever seen you know, she's, she's, oh you mean when it was when the other horse in the market didn't participate yeah that race that race <laughs> yeah the old og oh, og yeah. okay race one the highway and uh um, Maddie Dunn, last start highway winner, Wallander, seven dollars into five fifty. Um, interesting favourite here. Gord's very, very bullish about it. What did you say about the favourite here, Paul? Um, about four to one each of two. Wallander and the uh, Masara thing, which um, you know is going to be well back again. And the twelve eighty to sixteen hundred is obviously a question mark. Um, Cisco Bay, I thought, was another chance, and Ever Peck's rough chance. And is it a play race? Doesn't Look, sound it, like it was just hit the first really. four in the market. Yeah, I mean, if I had the bet, if I absolutely had the bet, I'd have a very small bet on Wallander, but wouldn't be that confident. I'm waiting for Manning Yard Mile. I'm interested in number two. Saw it up at cost. Didn't grab me as a great type. I think it can only improve going forward, and I like the way it ran through the line. Race two, the uh, another <coughs> semi waller there over the 2400. A uh, bit of a replay of a fortnight ago with Just Shine um, uh, into the race, and as far as the betting's concerned, there's no real movers. It's. Uh, it's, it's what a, it is, Plottersville. Is there an edge here, Paul? Maybe the horse on the on the up against these plotters, Just Shine. Um, I've got it favourite. Um, Rakeek, I'd be against. Um, not totally potting Screamer. So. All right. So you're you're, it, you're, you're into the uh, the non -pearl, away from the non, away from Roller, the non pearl Roller. horses, the yeah, up yeah, from yeah, two thousand right. horses. Yeah. Race three, uh, th short course, and the only two firmers are the two horses I mentioned, Glenn Lemmy Stray and Lights who both well, returned very well uh, over the short <coughs> course in their uh, respective jurisdictions. Um, Al Manzora remains the 11 to 8 favourite. Gord, very keen. Paul? Um, I've got a 5 to 2, and I've been as kind as I possibly can. I don't All right, know so you that. must have an edge there, then, if you've, got the, if, you've got, if you've got that much longer than the market. Brooklyn Magic, um, 11 to 4. I thought the horse that I'm going to back here, I know it's back to 1,000 metres. Um, I'm probably going to back Sharp Hustler. Glenn, you were sort of in that camp as well, weren't you, Chef? Ran through the line, trained down at Mudgee. They're all hawk flying, those horses. Something's thought, happening at Mudgee. Thought the second favourite was a touch in the chair there, Brooke. And um, I think the favourite's too short, so it sort yeah. of left me with sharp hustle. Yeah. Uh, then we get to uh, one of your uh, plays, Glenn, that uh, is seven dollars into nine to sorry, seven to one into nine to two for two. I speak of. A hood remains the pronounced favourite with the option to go forward. Um, it's an interesting race. Obviously, these three fillies at the head of the market have been. Uh, uh, under threat now from the uh, from the second prep uh, good trialer for two, is it still, is it still a bet at nine to two, Glenn? Uh, it need to be spot on from the yard at nine to two for me, Mark. I wanted eight dollars, so. Mm. Paul, um, I think you may have may have found something in longer odds in this race. No, not really. I mean, uh, Hood's got the class edge, and if it's right, eleven to eight for me. Uh, out that Barbie, I've got second pick. I could mark it shorter if it, I used the Magic Millions run. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what they do there. I, I can't have Fiesta at the price and 
for two, I'm, I'm seven to one, and I've, I've rated it up to its best, and it went out very well this horse, so it may have taken another step forward. Could be so a key games. there. Going out very well, you know, yeah. he's quite important, uh, especially at this uh, this time of their careers. Is, is Adamina totally hopeless? Well, look, you know, G Ryan he, Fresh. It's hard to watch what happened at Kembla and then take her into this race, but uh, I know that she she did she did have excuses at her second start, and her first start was particularly good against Fiesta. Race five is the uh, the male version, the 1300, um, and Military Zone and Smartalism are both well tried. Fours in threes, pretty much. Uh, Smartalism maybe holds it all. Uh, where do his numbers sit? Uh, this this Melbourne horse, Paul. About, about four to one. Um, I've got it. it. It was a very nice win at Sale on debut. Very quick time and ease down, and then it had a few things against last time, and they. Um, the, you know, it was a very slow pace up front there last time, and look, this horse has got ability, uh, but I couldn't take under four to one. For me, military zone, they're going to go forward on this, uh, as they've announced, so on that basis, um, I'm making it my best of the day. Okay, so it's going to be written differently, which concerns me slightly. Um, what, you're saying that it's, it's going think, to okay, be with, be with, with, Master, Ash, with Master Ash and, uh, and Danawi? Third, fourth, two wide, I think, and I think that's the, you know, in that spot, Based on its last run, I have to back it. But smarter listen, I've got respect for, and, and Denawi, I just can't get it that short. Well, James Jr. He's a pickup man, isn't he? Corey Brown out of the, out, out of uh, out of action today, and uh, James Innes Jr. picked up uh, the ride on Denawi and Sharpness, both who look who both who look to lead their respective races. He does a good job, James Jr. It, look, he's a good. He, you know, he's he's does going to job. be a very solid provincial rider. It's just that the competition's too fierce in town. Well, there's just no spots. No, there's no. There's no, spots. No, there's no spots. There's no spots. And when you're not riding winners in town, fierce. it's even harder to ride a winner in town. Yeah, there's no spots. Uh, uh, I thought it was a race up for grabs that race. Yeah, spot, I so think I, you're I, you're going to be particularly interested in how Ira Kanji uh, parades. Oh, just the whole race. I'm just interested in how they all parade there, Mark. Um, the Winx race, uh, Kementari, seven fifty into six. Wow. Gord laughed at me, and Gord's, you know, he's the, he's the master of the obvious, so he says Winks just wins, which is, 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 is wow. more than more than. Make sure you obvious. sign up with Racing Rants, they're the sort of tips you'll get. <laughs> Winks just wins. I, I can make a case of Kementari, but um, I, um, and someone else can as well, um, but let's not shoot Bambi. Oh, I shoot Bambi? Put a grenade up her ass. <laughs> like, don't shoot a blower up. What are you saying, Paul? Didn't do the race. Didn't yeah, do the yeah. race he, he, he found he found a lunch race there. Now there is just quickly, the Mark. There is uh, 80 foot by 10 foot flags of wings here today. <laughs> if you email Mark this afternoon and you'd like one of them, I did bring a pen knife. <laughs> small, one. small cost. There you have it. Um, race seven, the uh, Show County. Remember Show County, Glenn. Brian the best. Wood. What, the best. what a beauty. What a <laughs> um, both favourites firm. Uh, more Siege of Quebec than La Romaine, but. Uh, they're pretty much 11 to 8, 13 to 8 as we speak, um, with little interest in the others. Uh, Favourites race, Paul, or can you look away? Oh, look, I don't think La Romaine actually produces best first up. I've got it 9 to 4, and I'm being kind. Um, I've got Sage of Quebec, uh, favourite 7 to 4, but there's no edge there, really, the best. Not at the so moment. So that's 66%. Uh, you're 2 to 1 the rest of the field. Where, where, where's your place well, there? Well, the only way I could go, a rough chance, I could throw something on Boss Lane. Um, third up, back at Ramwick 1200. But that's, you know, it's... With the irrigation? Yeah, look, it's... The only other horse that's worth mentioning here is No Doubt, who's been off for a long time and been gelded, but if any of its figures last preparation it brought today, um, it's a it's dynamic. Probably, it's, it's a dynamic. It's probably a five horse. to one chance. Oh, but but I mean the market's going to get into a decent stable. It's a yeah. dynamic horse. Yeah, it's a good horse, and mm. I just think... Two that, wins at Kembla. <laughs> Um, I'd back it if they supported it late, so okay. I'd have, I, I wouldn't right. want it's, it to it's lose. A, it's a market horse that you're, yeah. you're paying close attention to. Yeah. Uh, the penultimate, the mover, is Smart Amelia, which I think you also mentioned, Glenn. Um, yeah. $7 into five and a half. It is a race that uh, looks very bearish, uh, judging by the way the, the market's gone since opener. Is there, um, is there an angle here? I, I mean, pundit, pundits seem reluctant about Egyptian symbol. Yeah, uh, I, map I can't maker, map, map maker actually had her not, not in as prime a position as I expected. He had her sort of three-back defence with... Um, sorry. Uh, sharpness leading the toy, a zestful box seating. I am Coldplay, one out, one back, Huey style. Starting to warm a little bit to zestful as well there, Mark. I'm interested to see how it parades. Rambicals, for sure. Yeah, good um, and uh, the last race, the Nicholas Moratus. Um, so 
good old Kionic is, um, is solid as a rock here at the head of the market. Um, Hard to beat with me. You need to have a good look from the parade for number one. Any figures on number one, Paul? Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm going to say, look, it's also had the uh, operation with screws into both its front cannon bones, which worries me. Um, best of days. So, chaotic favourite, nine to four. Can't get it shorter. Um, Shogun Sun needs speed on. Uh, query to thirteen. I've got no lo I've got no line on it other than the market. That's, that's pronounced Mill Sean. Mill Sean. Yes, I read that tweet. Um, Mill Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very kind man. Uh, got straight on to me to correct me, and then another very kind man backed him up. Young Owen, one of the men. Dodd, and then Owen. <laughs> I'm going to throw something on Iomi Destino. Uh, the blinkers back on. Just at 40, 50 to one. Yeah, she's going to be a, like as a blowout. She's going. She's, go, she's going to be on song today. Whatever that means. That, yeah, it's 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 a very hard race. I mean, away from the favourite. The favourite looks a bit obvious, doesn't it? Looks very obvious, and I would think it's close to the best of the day. Great um, days racing here at Randwick with Wings Days, guys. It's always great racing with us, Racing Rant. We do three shows a week, plus the top-up show, and we've got sets for all Sydney Metro meetings. That's um, a form set and the Mounting Yard Mail, the all-important Mounting Yard Mail. And I've already posted John Walter's uh, Caulfield set today. Um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting through that as well. So we have a Melbourne set each week as well, all for $22 subscribe you'll get the first two weeks free thanks for joining us thank you